Hi guys, so I am doing a Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is created by, or was created by Ginger Reads Ladies, now being hosted by Thoughts on Tomes. And for the next uh, couple months, it's pretty much um, a free-for-all kind of thing, I guess. Um, I don't know how many people are going back and doing old ones, but because I haven't been on Top 5 Wednesday that long, just some that I missed, so I am going to be listening five non-YA books that I like. And I'm starting to realize that I need to read more. So at number five, because I don't remember a whole lot about it, um, just because I've only read it once and not a lot of people talk about it, uh, is Low Moon, uh, which is a graphic novel, actually. There's like little segments and everything in it. I enjoyed it. I think I want to pick it up again to kind of get a better feel of it. Number four. Number four, what the heck do I have on my list? Uh, number four is one that I also read uh, actually a, long, a while back, um, at least almost 10 years ago. And that's The Queen of the Damned. I just love the flow of this book and the writing style. Um, I don't remember too much about the movie, and I kind of I'm kind of glad because everyone says the movie sucks. Um, I really did enjoy the book. It was just fun to read, and I want to get back into the Vampire Chronicles. Number three, and these aren't really in too much of a particular order. I just kind of put Low Moon at the bottom because I don't remember a whole lot about it and Queen of the Dam, it's been a while. So, um, at number three, I would say The Elegance of the Hedgehog, which I've talked about a few times. Now, this one also has a protagonist that is young, but it more, it more focuses on Renee, who is the older protagonist. And the way it's written, I think it's definitely more um, adult contemporary. But I really enjoyed this book. It's not for everyone, like I said. It's much, most of it's dialogue. There's not a whole lot going on. It's the thoughts of an older woman who doesn't think she is worthy of basically intelligence and things because of her place in society. And a young girl who is fed up with, you know, her family that lives in that higher society. So it's a uh, dual perspective and it's very interesting. Uh, then a new read uh, that I read this year and I reviewed and really enjoyed would be Midworld. It's probably one of the oldest books I've read in a while. Uh, fantastic sci-fi, a lot of imagination. If you haven't read it, I really recommend it. I'm glad I picked it up. And then finally, one of my absolute favorite books of all time. I've heard this mentioned as both adult and young adult, but honestly, the way it's written and the things that happen in it, I would definitely recommend it for much, much older people. Um, and that is The Lovely Bones. It is dramatic and fantasy, or is it drama and fantasy, and it's heartbreaking, and um, yeah, it's another one you need to read if you're prepared for that kind of heartache. So, that is my top five Wednesday for today. Thanks for watching, guys.